Hello everyone, my name is Jordan Sutton and I'm the author of Take Back What the Devil Has Stolen From You. And below the video is some links to my book, my ebook and my paperback book. So, And also my blog and my social media. And so whenever you get the chance, make sure that you check out that information. And remember that you got everything to gain. And this is another podcast of Coffee Talk with Jay. And what I would like to entitle this podcast is to handle your rejection gracefully. Okay, handle your rejection gracefully. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, when you are in a stage, when you're in these seasons and years or however long, however long, whenever, whatever time period it is, all right, of whatever you're experiencing, a lot of setbacks, a lot of no's, a lot of uh, being overlooked, whether that's in the workplace, whether that's even regardless of what that could actually be as far as for you. Handle your rejection gracefully, okay? Because it's going to come a time. See, it's hard right now, and you're always being told right, no right now. And it always seems like maybe sometimes you can't even catch a break. But let me tell you something. Handle that gracefully because you know why? Because it's going to come a time where everything going to work in your favor. It's going to come a time even though you were used to facing closed doors after closed doors after closed doors, there's going to come a time when it's going to be nothing but open doors. Nothing but open doors. Nothing but yeses, you know? So it's also it's just important to handle whatever season, no matter how long it is. Yes, it's frustrating, but we can't fall into our flesh. We can't give up and just start to collapse there, right there in the middle of it, okay? We got to finish the whole entire thing okay and you got to look at it as this is his training program for you okay this is his training program for you to be prepared for the things that he has in store for you remember that god has the best in store for you always all the time and no matter what you um again no matter what you're experiencing and what you're going through it will still work out in your favor so again make sure that you handle your rejection gracefully and let me use some details. Let me use some examples. Let's say far as relationship-wise or just in general, you're not the one that they always pick or you're not the one that's picked. You're invisible. Um, for whatever factors and qualities you may feel like you might possess and you feel like you're not the one that's always chosen. All your you know, all the focus and attention and concentration seems to be going on another person. So sometimes you might just check and just say, hmm, I wonder, I wonder what it could be about me. It just make you start to question some things. And I think I addressed that in one video um, already, but I'm just using this as an example. That's okay. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, it does feel messed up. Yeah, it does feel like, man, what's the point? What's the purpose? But you can't get, let me tell you something. You got to look at it as that's a good thing. You got to start switching your thinking. You got to look at it as that's a blessing. You got to start to look at it as, okay, that's fine. God got something more. God got something more. He has to have something more in order for me to keep on going through this all the time or whenever. All right. You got to start to look at it from a different standpoint and a different point of view. All right. And. That's okay. Handle that handle that rejection gracefully. Because like I said, it's gonna come up it's gonna come a time and a point where the same ones that was passing you up, the same ones that didn't give you the time of day, the same ones that saw you as invisible. Oh, wait till you step into the blessings that the Lord has for you. Wait till you step into that future that's really bright. Oh, everybody gonna want to then. Oh, everybody going to be in your inbox. Oh, everybody going to be trying to chase and tag you down. Oh, everybody going to be trying to try to follow you and try to, you know, see if they can get up with you at any moment in any given time. Don't worry about it. He knows there's a time. He knows that the, it's just like this right now. Things are only like the way they are for right now. Okay. And that was just an example. But um, there's plenty of examples. You could be working on this job. And it just seems like you overlook for for a promotion or you could be in college and it seems like it's just too hard to continue on this semester. It's just and boy, <laughs> me being in that position 
of knowing how hard it is to feeling like you still want to continue on because college is whoo it can be fun but it's also tiring it's also a lot of work a lot of devotion a lot of commitment a lot of patience um but you can still push through this you can still get there and plus if we don't have any obstacles in our life how do we get stronger how do we get stronger think about somebody think about it like this when someone is in the gym and they're working hard they're you know they're lifting up their weights they're on the treadmill whatever okay how do they know that they're making progress unless they don't sweat or unless they don't feel you know something burn whether that's fat burning whether it's whatever um cholesterol whatever it is calories that's burning like something, it's going to take some form of pain. It's going to take some type of hurt in order for you to know that you're actually making progress. So with progress, sometimes comes with pain. Okay. With progress, sometimes it comes with pain. All right. So I don't want to sound all over the place, um, but I just want you to be encouraged and I just want you to know. That the best is on the way. The Lord already knows. The Lord already knows how big and bright your future is. He knows. So he's going to put you in this time period. He's going to put you in the time. He's going to put you in a place of where everything's going to look like the complete total opposite of what he's spoken over your life. And this is a test for you to pass. Not give up. Not to be angry. Not to, you know, get mad and, you know, feel like he's looking out for everybody else. But when it comes down to you, no, you're the main one. You're the main one that he's going to look out for. You're the main one. But he just want to see how you're going to handle some things. Now, whether now the time period, whether that's years, what, however long that is, you're going to have to withstand. Okay? You're going to have to withstand within the test of time. All right? And I promise you, it's just, what? Temporary. It's just temporary. So, again, Handle, you know what? I know rejection hurts. Rejection hurts. It does. And I guess after a while, if you experience it, there'll be a point in time when you're not even going to care anymore because you realize that you're going to be great whether somebody sees it or not. You realize that you're going to still have whatever God wants you to have, whether people are checking for you or not. Handle your rejection gracefully. It shows you who you really are. It shows you your character. Oh, everybody can, you know, be this up and going happy person when everybody likes them, when everybody's showing them love on their social media, when everybody's supporting their business, when everybody's supporting them. Okay. But without that, who are you? Without that, what is your real, true character and determination to still pursue it when everything you're saying is on deaf ears? When everything that you're doing seems, it feels, it, it will appear as it, as if it's a waste. But he want to see if you're still going to keep on going, okay? So remember that with process comes with pain. It's, it's going to come with some type of um, some discomfort, okay? It's going to come with some form of discomfort. But realize that it will still be worth it all at the end, okay? So, again, my name is Jordan Sutton. I am the author of... Take back what the devil has stolen from you. And remember, handle your rejection gracefully. He knows it's just a matter of time. Yeah, you're hearing the no's now and the closed doors, but it's going to come a time period where everything going to be working out for you. Everything. Everything. Everything in your hand going to be, it's going to turn to gold. Okay? Those same people that they want to, and you know what? The, the people that pass you over, whether that's in the workplace, whether that's somebody that potentially you saw that you could have been with, you know what? Let that go. You know what? Because let me tell you something. If God got more and bigger, then that's that's that would only done you a disservice. It would have only done you a disservice. It would have only set you back. It would have only made you miserable. It would have only made you unhappy. And you wouldn't have realized it. Okay? And that's something that we got to also stop doing as well. We tend to maximize things that we don't have yet. It looks bigger and better. And it looks pretty and it got this, it got diamonds and glitter all over it because we don't have it yet. Okay. So let God 
work his perfect patience and peace within you. All right. Continue on to have faith. Yeah. Yeah. You may be facing some rejection on some things, but let me tell you something. That rejection is a blessing. And when you look back, when you get to what you get into, whatever it is that he got, to, that he has for you, um, you go look back on it and be thankful that you was passed up, whether it was on the job applications, whether, whether it was through people or whether it was, um, through whatever. Okay. So remember, handle your rejection gracefully because it's just a matter of time. It's just temporary. It's just for now. This is just how things are now, but the best is always still yet to come. And this is why I say this over and over again. Okay. So I'm JS. I'm Joy the Sutton. Those are my initials, by the way. <laughs> and uh, remember to take back what the devil has stolen from you. And uh, click on the links below um, under this video. And God bless. Until the next time, thank you for tuning in with Coffee Talk with Jay.